everyone, welcome back to Gun to Battle Operation 2. It's your guy, Billions Williams. Today, we're checking out Alma Sterner's Zaku Custom from Gun to Battle Operation Code Fairy. Uh, something that you might have seen a little bit of if uh, you watched my Chilling with Billions new series. I hope everybody's enjoying that. And um, I will be uploading more of those on Saturdays if you guys are interested. Uh, but yeah, this was actually recorded before I started playing it, so this is actually our first time using the unit. Uh, so we're gonna try and figure it as we go. We're on the Arctic base, a map I don't really like at all. I just really don't. Oh, we get a nice double knockdown there. Hey, this thing has a really nice uh, down soaring. It's like a it's like a two piece vertical and horizontal strike. Very nice. It's kind of like we're playing. Some soul caliber, bro. Oh, dude, wait a second, wait a second. I know this is a great crazy tangent, but what if? What if? Uh, yo, okay. What if there was a fucking soul caliber that was just, like, melee combat ass, uh, you know, mobile suits? And, uh, it was, it was a Gundam and stuff. It'd be so sweet, you get a lot of, like, G Gundam in there. G Gundam is, like, come on, like, one of the best Gundam series ever. If you haven't watched a G Gundam, yeah, uh, listen, dude, my heart is burning red. <laughs> Tackle him down. I was trying to switch to my sword, but sometimes um, when I'm in the heat of battle, I screw up the fast switching, and the fast weapon swapping is something that I am still working on. Still have yet to perfect. I think I've gotten better from this game onward, but yeah, this is, th this is one we're, we're trying to figure out as we go. Oh, yeah, nice there, but barely miss the, the heat swords got a, a short swing. This I don't know why this is, unit is like a custom Zaku, but it, it, it's really more of a goof, right? It's just like a goof with the Zaku head. Like, the body even is more like a goof. So why is it a Zaku custom? Not entirely sure, but let's leave it up to... Uh, Xeon uh, Ingenuity uh, as our kneecaps explode. We have come up to a pretty decent lead here. Get a nice little two-piece on him. Back off, throw some more missiles on. I feel like we could have gotten that if, my had, if I had the full magazine. We switch to the shotgun. We're going to watch him, see if he comes down on invincibility, but he dodges us, but our buddy is able to pick it up. Uh, I feel like I remember somebody was up here. We need to go check on him. Death probably around the corner, and I right get him as he gets me. Trade hits. He swings in, but we get to show off the ha ha on guard ass fucking counter. We pick up the kill, and quite nice. Yeah, put the three piece on him. Yeah, this unit is really fun, and I'm not much of a raid gamer, but this, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of playing this a lot more like a general than a raid right now, and, you know, I am more than fine with that. Put some nice damage on him. He dodge rolls out of the middle of that. I don't know why he gets to do that, and I usually can't, but we dodge roll out of him. Although we still take the damage, our legs are dead. Uh, put another rocket shot on him. Uh, let's see if, uh, anybody's gonna pay attention to us. Hopefully not. Oh, miss there. Miss those. And, oh, dodge roll past him to try and dodge, but he still hits us, living with 200 health. We're close by to the base. We have a good lead. Why not see if we can get a base bomb on here? Base bombs on the Arctic map, um, don't really happen too often, I think. But we'll, we'll see what happens, and I, I know, it, this base bomb is going to go off a little early, but we have enough of a lead where this will just be like icing on top of our uh, early lead cake. So we get the bomb plant, and what is the plan from now? Do we stay? No, I don't really want to. So we're going to scan a little bit around here, and then I realize, you know what, I don't have a unit. This bomb's not very important because it's timed poorly. We're going to try and go up to the point, but oh, we see that guy coming in, and we're going to have ourselves a little battle. We're going to try and line up the assault rifle, put some damage on him. Me misses with the bazooka. He throws a flash grenade at us. He's coming in for the knife. We, ooh, see that? Dark Souls. Dark Souls. We dodge rolled his knife, and we barrel stuff him. 
pretty nice. Uh, if anybody else comes by, I don't really mind. We are just trying to get back into our unit. Yeah. Middle of the week, bro. I'm kind of tired. It is super late. Ugh. Spent, I spent a lot of time playing Minecraft today. I'm not gonna lie. Just, sometimes you just get down in the mines and you look up at the clock and it's been eight hours. It's been one of those days for me. <laughs> gonna get back into the unit. See what kind of chaos we can cause. I mean, really, there's there's no stress at this point. Number one is standing triumphantly on top of the blown up base. It does go off very nice. They're gonna drop back in. And I think at this point, a lot of them have, I think, I think some of them like have left the game at this point. I think definitely the person that I dodge rolled past, that, that guy has gotta be seething. And right now I am super mad because that guy takes down our entire leg health in two hits and I am mad because I'm thinking like dude this guy has to be like hacking his game with some damage modifiers I will not accept that I just took two meaty uh, hits to the leg I will not accept that he would have to have been cheating to do that to me I am confident in that <laughs> I know he's probably not, but, you know. One of, one of my coping mechanisms for being bad at video games is just saying that everybody that wins against me is hacking. And <laughs> I am the kind of guy, I, would, I just report anybody that wins against me. I just report everybody. I don't care. <laughs> but it, it's one of those things that keeps me from, like, smashing my controller, right? Because <laughs> I get... My, I have really bad temper problems. Oh, gonna put some damage on this guy, dot, dash, back. And, uh, I think we're having a little bit of an awkward game with, uh, Almasterner's Zaku Custom, but I think, I think we do pretty well. Uh, uh, we're gonna have some more, uh, Chillin' with Billions episodes coming up throughout the Saturdays on, uh, and we're, we're doing, like, one episode per episode, I think, right? So, yeah, no. Look forward to that. Uh, I hope I hope you guys enjoy the little uh, series that I'm gonna come out with here. Just something chill, you know. Um, yeah, because there, there's been a lot of games that have been on my backlog, and if I, I kind of want to make them part of content, so I can have an excuse to play the games on my backlog. Hey, and we take a pretty convincing dub. Two of them have left the game. I don't blame them. I'm nuts at this game, even though we don't really take any accolades. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, it's your guy, Billings Williams. This has been GBO2. Like, comment, subscribe. You don't have to, but I do have to ask. I know it's weird. Yeah. Take a nice dub. Do some dailies. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.